Viskast. bananas later. Okay. Yes, I know. Yeah, okay. Guys, a hero. Uh, anyways, Ridge, right? We were not here yesterday. Uh, I gave back the test. Can you hold that really quick? I think I still got the test from the. Uh, have you read the book? Here you go. This is your test. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. I just got back a test. No, oh, how do I go? John. Okay, I know. Um, how are you? I you know. The usual. What's up? Well, you know I'm running for super person, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, your face is all over the school. And that's the problem. See, I put a lot of effort into this campaign and I have so much I want to change, but no one's gonna vote for me. Don't say that. I'm gonna vote for you. Yeah, but like I told a lot of people and promised them that I would deal with the gum problem, but look how much has changed. Nothing. John, I know what we're gonna do. What? We're gonna catch the jerk that's behind all this. And how? 
This might sound weird, but I know just the guy who can help us. Max. Max, Max? Yeah, I'm Max. He's a funny fellow. Don't worry, I'll text him later. Okay, thanks. And, um, about what happened. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you came to talk to me. Okay. See you tomorrow. Yeah. your own supply. Come on, sharing is caring. Hello everyone! I hope you enjoyed Chilla, huh? Oh, so, who is here? Everyone there? Oh man, I have so many classes. This is unbelievable. Leo and Benny missing again. Those guys never come to class. All right, let's start. So, did everyone do their homework? Schiller, die Räuber, der Vorspann. No one, this is not okay. If you would have read it, you know what, what you would have known? Der Pöbel hört niemals auf Pöbel zu sein. You don't want to be the Pöbel, right? Um, but Mr. Twidwell, you gave us a 30-page booklet yesterday. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, I almost forgot. Um, so if no one did it, maybe we should do something else instead. I got these handouts. It's not chiller, it's good. Entirely different uh, style of writing. But maybe you do those. This is 50 pages. Come on, class. So general is a serious subject. You have to know that for those funny faces, on your phone take over your whole life. You don't want that, right? You want to be using metaphors and all that, and energies, that's what you want to have in your life. Not those funny faces. Come on. Those guys don't even have Come on, what the hell, huh? We have a new lead. Oh, hey, John. Hey, uh, how you doing, man? No, see you guys. No, thank you. Rather not. Seriously? Yeah. Okay, fine. More, more for me. So, uh, what's the clue? Oh, okay, the clue. Um, I heard from Georgia, who was the boyfriend of Marcus, who's the brother of Jonathan, who's the also the brother of Thomas, and who's the before boyfriend of Tiffany, and. She overheard a conversation of the gum dealers um, talking about a dead drop they have every single Monday on the sixth floor in the boys' bathroom. Tiffany is such a gum head. That's amazing, though. Well, I meant the dead drop. Um, when is the dead drop? And Tiffany said that it was 10 before 10. Shit, that's now. Come on. of gum and then we grab the guy that's put it there. Yeah, sure. I'll get an eyewitness from Mr. Twiddle. Um, while you guys wait here, uh, see you guys later. Rachel, have you ever wondered how they can sell the gum for so much money? Um, not really, no. Why? I know why. You see, it's it's in the mint condition. Um, what about you and John? Are you two on better terms now? Um, yeah, I guess so.
So, um, how are your parents? Good. Good. Yours? Yeah, they're they're good. Do you like my pants? Yeah, um, I guess they're nice. Why? You see, my mom says it looks like I'm batting for the other team. <laughs> they do look a bit gay. John, we have a- uh, John! Yes, those are guys. John, are you sure? Yeah. Let's see what he left behind. Hey! Oh, come on, John. Did you know that would happen? Where's the stash? Take that, please. Come on. You know. N05, student wasting my time again. You see that? Again means it's again and again and again. Give me that. Got to close it. Oh, man. So, yeah. What happened? Okay, I get it. I have to go. Got to buy some Snickers, okay? Okay, see you guys. See you. Bye. so bad. Oh, you guys are such cynics. You'll see, one day, I'm gonna be a stand-up comedian. Sure. Does your mom tell you that? You're the John dude, right? Yeah, student president to be. Yeah, look, anyways, I heard you guys were looking for the gum dealers, correct? That is correct. Well, I've got a little notebook here that should help you. That's great, thanks. Where do you find it? I was just lying around. Great. Take, let me take a look. Looks like a financial record for me. Like a ledger. But why? Well, it makes sense. Every big gum lord has to have somewhere to write down his expenses and earnings. But where would he have gotten it from? It doesn't matter. This is a short film. We don't have time for long winded explanations. Well, let me have a look at it. 
Is your name on it? Yeah, that's um, her name. That's mighty useful. Yeah, I know. And actually, she's in Twitty's class. Wait, then I'll bring you to Mr. Twiddle. Sure. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, see ya. See ya. Yeah, see ya. On Saturday? Yeah, I have time on Saturday. What are we doing? Oh crap, I just stepped on a piece of gum. I need to go soul searching now. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Dude, that's gay! Well, I can't be gay. That means nothing. Oscar Wilde was gay and he has four kids and a wife. You can just let it go. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal, okay? No wonder it never worked out with you two. Nice pants, Max. <laughs> anyway. I wanted to let you know what I talked with Mr. Trudel about. Did you find him? Um, well, I went to his office. Was it her? No, why are you asking? Well, you were screaming at her. Yes, she ate my sandwich, my whole lunch. Like every day I pick two things, right? Yeah. Sandwich and an apple. Mm -hmm. I hate apples. You know what I have to eat now for lunch? An apple. You are ruining my day. Sorry. Well, great. Basic white girl. What do we do now? I'm out of ideas, Rachel. This is the end. A what? What? Did that guy just pay with a $50 bill? Listen, guys, listen! Well, I don't think anyone in the school has that amount of money. A certain gum lord, perhaps? Then we have no time. Go! Oh. Oh.
gelap. How are you doing? I'm so happy. Even though Carmen has been there, nothing has changed, right? Everyone is still sleeping in class all over the place. I think it's just the way it always has been. And probably always will be if we won't stop first feeding the students uh, with information from dawn to dusk, we are homework and extra long school hours and all that stuff. We would just stop for a minute and sit down, read the books as, as I always tell you, and then realize, oh, true education is realize your passion, yeah? not imprisonment for several hours. Don't you think if we stop cornering the students and telling them what to learn, what to think, they do more motivated and awakened class? You know what? I think they actually might. <laughs>